Hi YouTube, this is Roshni Sangvi. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist and what's my take on weight loss snacks? Now nutrition science has advised quite a lot from only thinking about calories in and calories out for weight loss. We now understand it's so much more than that. It's about how those calories behave essentially when you eat them. So for someone eating 2000 calories uh, of a particular body weight and height, they might be able to digest it and they don't tend to gain weight. But for someone else eating the exact same calories with the exact body weight and height, they might be converting a lot of it to body fat. And this depends on so many factors. So when we work with clients particularly, we specifically make sure to include foods that naturally increase your body's fat burning abilities and naturally increase your metabolism, your mitochondrial count. There's so much of science now that goes into nutrition versus just calories in and calories out. This is why I'm not a big fan of snacks like makhana seeds and um, rice, rice cakes and bhel and popcorns and stuff which just fill your stomach. They don't even fill your stomach really, but they're low calories. Um, when you're thinking about weight loss snacks, you want to make sure you're eating foods that actually heal the body and that actually will boost the body's ability to lose weight and get fit. If you have not watched my video on lifestyle changes for weight loss, I highly insist you watch that. It's such a good video. We don't do any calorie counting when working with clients. Absolutely none. Our clients are allowed to eat as much as they want. And we've never ever had like a weight loss failure. People lose weight on our programs um, and they lose good amount of weight. Okay. So let's discuss three categories of weight loss snacks that I love to promote. Number one, snacks which are high in resistance starch. I'll explain what this is and why you need to eat it. But resistance starch basically helps boost the production of something called short chain fatty acid in your stomach, in your gut. Don't need to remember all this, but that short chain fatty acid production, which is boosted by resistance starch consumption, helps your body's ability to lose more fat faster. It basically makes you more insulin sensitive if you want to know a little bit of science. Otherwise, just blindly eat snacks which are high in resistance starch and they will help you lose weight faster. What are these high resistance starch snacks? Root vegetables are very, very good. Sweet potatoes and carrots. I love to make like air fried carrot sticks or just boiled sweet potato. Sweet corn is another great resistance starch. Just, you know, corn on the cob with lemon, salt, pepper that kind of thing uh, so any form of root vegetables are really great option and very high in resistance starch sweet potatoes actually my go-to snacks when working with clients for weight loss they not only heal the body they're also helping you lose weight not now but also making your body a fat burning machine for the future um, number two the second category of snacks are nuts nuts and seeds now you might think nuts are high in fats so shouldn't you be avoiding them it's so ironic that so many studies done and even meta-analysis, which is multiple studies put together um, in one paper, in one research paper, shows that nut consumption is not linked to weight gain, even though you're consuming excess calories coming in from nuts. So you could be taking in up to 400 calories in one study, excess coming in from nuts, but people who eat nuts don't tend to gain more weight. It's really surprising. Now, there's something to be mindful over here. I'm not talking about roasted nuts and I'm not talking about nuts with salt, like salted nuts or hyper palatable nuts. In the market, you get like barbecue almonds and um, masala cashews and all that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about raw, unroasted nuts. Very healthy for you, actually. Do you need to soak them, not soak them? Depending on your gut health, you might want to soak it. A little bit better absorption of nutrients if you do soak it but I don't remember to soak it all the time you still want to make sure you eat nuts um, as snacks and how exactly do nuts help you lose weight nuts are very high in something called phytosterols and phytostanols and this essentially not only fights cholesterol in your body but helps boost your satiety so people who do tend to eat nuts tend to eat little less of other junk food. Their cravings are a little bit lesser and your body's excretion of fats and calories also increases when you're consuming nuts. So think of nuts like basically you can get away with eating a lot of calories and be full uh, and at the same time not gain weight. I don't mean to say mindless eating here. Yeah, So it's like you're sitting in front of the TV and you're eating non-stop cashews don't do that a handful of nuts is more than enough but it's something that keeps you full and you're getting this boost of you know um, 
healthy nutrients to fix your body my go to snack when working with clients is two figs one date and a couple of nuts and seeds so it comes up to like one good one cup of um, snack munching snack and making sure it's not roasted and it's not salted number 3 the third category my absolute favorite one thing all my clients include is fruits fruits are very high in water content they are so dense in water and the kind of water your body absorbs it's so hydrating it's not only good for your skin health and hair health it keeps you full for a very long time without adding a lot of junk calories without adding a lot of unhealthy calories fruits also just like resistant starches fix your digestive tract they are literally prebiotic fiber of food for the good gut bacteria and the more the good gut bacteria flourishes the better your gut health the better your gut health the better your body's ability in terms of not converting the food you're eating into body fat no juices no juices just whole fruits even if you're diabetic fruits are very very healthy as many portions as many portions as you want um, but just one portion of fruits when you are feeling hungry as a snack is an excellent option to go to okay i hope this was helpful and i hope you got a few points take away in terms of what kind of snacks to include when you are trying to lose weight remember the goal is not calorie counting or calorie cutting the goal is making your body optimized into a fat burning machine biohack your system we all know people who can eat whatever they want and they don't tend to gain weight they biohack their system and there are many many lifestyle changes to help you do that so we should be doing that and not calorie cutting and starving to lose weight this is roshni sangvi hope this helps